This is D. Igoratech. Today, we are going to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 without deleting your personal files and installed applications. This is very convenient especially if you have bunch of personal files and applications currently installed. In my case, it took me approximately 30 minutes only for the upgrade process. This depends on your computer specifications. This is a very simple upgrade process, you don't need to create bootable flash drive etc. I prefer to upgrade my computer rather than doing the fresh installation because it's very time consuming to back up and install all these files and applications. However, you can check my other video for the fresh Windows 11 installation on PC or laptop. Let's check first my current operating system version, you can see I'm running Windows 10 Pro version 20H2. First process is you have to download this file using any torrent applications like BitTorrent or uTorrent. I will attach all these links in the description below. After you download this file and install the torrent application then simply double click on it. You can see that the torrent is already in the torrent list. I downloaded it ahead of time for the sake of this video. Once the download process has been completed, right click on it then choose open containing folder. Click continue if you have this pop up. The file name is Windows 11 x 64, it means it's a 64 bit version. It's a disk image file with 4.7 GB file size. Now, right click on the disk ISO image or the download file. Choose mount. You can now see the setup application, or you can also open the mounted DVD drive to run the setup application. Right click on it then run as administrator. Notice this nice looking Windows 11 logo. It's now preparing for the upgrade process. Setup will go online to get updates, drivers, and optional features so make sure you are still connected to the internet. We have the option to change how setup download updates. It is recommended to download updates, drivers, and optional features. Click next. It will now check for updates and check your PC. You can read and you must accept the Microsoft license terms. It will automatically check for updates. Wait for it to finish the process. This will take time so I will fast forward the video. It will also check if your computer have enough disk space. It's now ready to install. You won't be able to use your PC during the installation. Save and close your files before you begin. It will install Windows 11 Pro and it will keep your personal files and apps. We have the option to change what to keep. We have three options, keep personal files and apps, keep personal files only and lastly keep nothing, this will delete everything. I prefer to keep my personal files and apps, click next. Click install to continue. It will now proceed with the installation. This will take time, make sure you won't disconnect to the internet, your computer will automatically restart. Make sure your power adapter is connected, and don't power off your computer. I will fast forward the video. Fantastic! The upgrade process has been completed, we are now running Windows 11 Pro. We can check to verify the operating system version. Go to search bar, type WinVer, this is how to check the current Windows version. You can see we are running Windows 11 and also you can see the build version. You can notice that all the applications and desktop folders are present. You can see my file folder is still present. We can perform some tests by opening some of the applications. You can see my virtual machines have been automatically paused. It did not eliminate those programs even though we did the Windows upgrade. Notice the taskbar icons are in the middle, you can leave it as is if you prefer, 
or you can reposition it back to the left side like the previous versions of Windows. To do this, right click your desktop and choose Personalize. Go to Taskbar tab. You can see the taskbar alignment, expand the arrow and we will have the option to reposition it at the left side. The taskbar icons are now in the left. Let's check what are the new amazing features of this Windows 11. Let's check first the Windows Start button, notice the beautiful round edges. Also you can see the current user at the bottom left, and the right is the power button. We have new applications pre-installed, the Photoshop, PixArt, News, Netflix etc. You can click the apps at the top to view all the applications installed. Next is the search button, you can see it's been simplified comparing to Windows 10. Next is the task view, which has been moved at the bottom, you can add multiple virtual desktop. Next is the new added widgets. File Explorer, Microsoft Edge and lastly the Microsoft Store. Let's open the File Explorer and the Microsoft Edge. Now, point your mouse to the Maximize button or Square icon. Notice these beautiful amazing features. A new way to multitask. You can point and click where you want to reposition the window. You can choose Split Screen. group mode, etc. Next is right click on the desktop, you have the option to open in Windows Terminal. Let me add first the Windows icons for us to check if we have new updates. Indeed. Windows 11 brought us these new nice looking desktop icons. Let's open first the user folder. Notice that all the icons has been updated. Next is the computer, all the icons has been updated with fresher and cooler icons even the disk icon. Even the quick access has been changed with these lovely icons. Next is the undo features. We will create a new folder. We will give a name of files. Let's delete the folder. Now, right click on desktop and you have the option to undo delete. Notice the files folder has been restored. Let's test to create multiple folders. We will delete first the files 1 folder, next is the files 2 folder. Now, let's undo delete. Notice the files 2 folder which we last deleted has been restored. Undo delete one more time and the files 1 folder will also be restored. Lastly, Let's create another folder. We will name it Jack. Now, right click anywhere on the desktop and you have the option to undo rename. Notice the name has been reverted back to new folder. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials thank you and see you in the next video